Imagine you're just running, 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 but you don't know where you're running to, why you're running for, and are you fast? Do you need to speed up? What's your competition like? If you don't have answers to these questions, then you running is just pointless. Same way when you're studying, you should know your goal, your target. Why every video is talking about 99 percentile? Why not 98 or 97? Those are also good numbers. And what's the safe score that you should be getting in your J mains so that you get top percentiles? And every shift has a different number. So I have made a detailed analysis and I'll be showing it to you. It is a lot of hard work, let me tell you. And also, what is that score which you need to get into top NITs for your dream branches as well? So all the details in this Chris video, make sure you are subscribing to the number one J English channel which is your Vedantu J English. Not only do you get timely updates, live classes, you also get tips, tricks, strategies. You will be amazed to see the quality content on this channel. Just browse through the homepage. All right. Thank you for subscribing. And yes, thank you for liking. If you have not done that yet, please do that. Yeah, this is your Captain Stress. I'm the physics master teacher. I've been training, mentoring, guiding kids for the past 13 plus years. And produce top two digit all India ranks, not just in means, but also in advanced. So, let me first of all tell you there is a date deadline, meaning we barely have two months or so, give or take, for our J means first attempt and the second attempt, although it is in April, there is board examination which is going to come for the class 12th students. So, we have a target of date, of course, so time is limited in number. So we need to consider that factor, which is a very big factor. It's not two years or one year, right? Now let's talk about the NIT's cutoff in percentile terms. Then we'll go to marks, okay? Computer science, lowest branch. Computer science, lowest branch. LB stands for lowest branch. CSC stands for computer science engineering. Tier 1 NITs like Trichy, Suratkal and all of that. Then you have Tier 2 and then the Tier 3, which are the newly formed NITs and in a very, very low cutoff they will have. Now if you see, most of the kids will obviously aim for tier 1, either, you know, some branch, which is your preferred branch, maybe electrical, mechanical, whatever it is. And majority these days are going for computer science. So that's why I have mentioned computer science specifically. So if you see tier 1 NITs, computer science ranges from 99.5 to 99.8 in the home state. That means if you are in Tamil Nadu, your home state cutoff will be in this range. and our outside state, meaning let's say you are aiming for NIT Trichy visit in Tamil Nadu, but you are from maybe Maharashtra. So then you will have to get around this much percentile. So you can see both these numbers are well above 99 percentile. It is not even 99.1 or something. It is well above 99. You can see 99.5, 99.8. That is the level of percentiles required. If you talk about the lowest branch, so say in Suratkal or Trichy, you want a civil or you know something like metallurgy, then you will need anywhere between 94 to 98 for home state and for other state students, they will around need 96.5 to 98.7. Give or take, you can see 98 is like a safe score because you cannot say, sir, for 95 also I will get. You may get, there is no guarantee for it. So 98 to 98.9 percentile will definitely be a safe percentile score. If you look at tier 2 NITs, which is obviously better if your aim, target, goal is computer science, rather than going to a top college and lower branch, many kids will prefer this tier 2 NITs, but computer science branch, okay, because it is obviously in demand. So 98.5, 99.3, you can see again 99 number, magic number is coming, 99 to 99.5 for outside state students. But for lowest branches, it goes to 92, 96, 96, 97. You can see again very close to 97, 98. Again, that score is needed percentile wise. If you go to tier 3 NITs also, then again, you will see for home state 98.9. This is very shocking, guys. Even if you go to lower NITs, people are still choosing top branch as computer science. And even for outside state, it is 98.9. So from this table, it is very clear. If you want the top branch, which is in demand, which is high paying, opportunities are there, then you have to get 99 percentile. That is why that magic figure. 
And if you want tier 1 NITs, then though you should be definitely 99.8, 99.9 range. If you're okay with some other branch, good college, then still 97, 98 percentile is still needed. So first of all, fit this in your head for getting NIT. Is this clear? I'm pretty sure many of you didn't know about this. Let me know quickly in the comments if you were aware about this. Now, this is that extensive analysis which I have done. Look at this. This is only for 99 percentile only. That's it. So all the shifts of 2025, all the shifts of 2024. I have written down the cutoff score shift wise because remember, some shifts will be difficult, some shifts will be easy. If a shift is easy, you will get 99 percentile, you will get 99 percentile for lesser marks. Uh, sorry, more marks, my bad. Yeah, and if a shift is very hard, then you will see the cutoff for 99 percentile will be for lower marks. For example, take January 2025, this year only. For 99 percentile, you can see the cutoff has gone to 200 in 24 January evening shift, meaning this shift was the easiest for the toppers. You can see that. But you can see 28 January morning was the worst because the cutoff went to 148. So to get 99 percentile, you had to be above this particular score. So it means this was a difficult shift. Getting my point? Same analysis if you do it for the April attempt, you can see the 2nd April was the easiest one and the 2nd April morning one was the most difficult one. So in the same day, most easy and most difficult both have come. So anything can happen, you, that is what you know you can see. It can be on different days or even on the same day. Similar analysis on uh, for the year of 2024, the easiest being the 27th January, the first day itself. And the hardest being, you know, the second last day, 31st Jan, evening shift, 156. Similarly, for the April attempt, easiest being the 6th April, 215 for 99 percentile. And 186 for the 9th April shift. The spread is not too much in the April attempt, 2024. But in certain places, like over here, the spread is decent enough, you can see. So, if you... Look at the spread of 99 percentile on an average, you can say, to be on the safer side. You need 185 marks on an average to 210 marks, depending on how difficult or easy the shift is. If it is difficult, it can go to even 160, 150 marks also. But that is very rare, as you can see in the table, okay, which is put over here. But usually 185 marks, 190 marks is needed. And 210 marks will put you on that sure shot list that, okay, you are getting 99 percentile in the case where the paper is easy. Now, you do the reverse calculation. If you want to get 210 marks, let's say, as a safety net for 99 percentile for top tier NITs and top branches, that means divided by three subjects, that is 70 marks per subject on an average. Yeah, maybe, you know, some subject might be strong for you. You might get 80 or 90 marks. Some subject might be weak. You might get 50 marks. That's okay. Average marks 70. That means you should solve at least 17 questions. You should solve at least 17 to 18 questions properly so that you are around that range of 70 on an average out of 25. So that is now your target. Understood? You need not solve all the questions. I'm not saying you solve all the 25 questions or even 24 questions. I'm saying do at least 18 questions correctly. Maybe now you might be getting one or two more wrong. So maybe then you will have to do 20 questions. So that even after those one or two wrong questions, that should not hamper your overall score per subject. So my question to you is, are you really getting close to 99 percentile? That means are you getting in the range of 180 marks? to 210 marks in your mock test. And if your answer is yes, really proud of you, push it to 98.5, 98.9. And if the answer is no, then let me tell you, do not lose hope. Because there are only few topics, in fact, 131 topics to be precise, which gives you 99 percentile. That's it. And this 131 topics is 
मोर देन इनफ फॉर यू टू गेट दैट नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट टॉप टीयर एन आई टी टॉप ब्रांचेस एंड यू माइट बी वंडरिंग सर कैन आई डू दिस वन थर्टी वन टॉपिक्स इन द लास्ट टू मंथ द आंसर इज येस दैट्स इट आई एम नॉट सेइंग चैप्टर्स आई एम सेइंग सब टॉपिक्स आर्टिकल्स पार्ट्स ऑफ द चैप्टर नॉट द होल चैप्टर If you do these topics, you are done, dusted, and sorted, and that is exactly what we are going to target in the Sigma Crash, which is going to launch very soon. Stay tuned on the Vedantu J English channel if you are really serious about the top tier NITs, top branches, and for getting a good score in the last two months. All right. So this was your Captain Shreyas on the Vedantu J English channel. Do not forget to like the video and comment below. how close you are to 99 percentile be honest even if you are getting 50 marks please put it up in the comment section i want to know what level are we at and that will also give me an idea to plan the course even further ahead okay thank you so much god bless you all